I'd say that Harry is a deeply romantic human who went through impossible challenges. I'm the survivor of Auschwitz. It's life or yours. What's so beautiful about this character are the moral ambiguities. I just wanted to honor the complications of that. This is not about sugarcoating the victim. Who deserves to have that kind of darkness pushed inside of them? We cover three decades of a man's life through very extreme circumstances. We see Harry pre-war, in the camps, in New York in the 40s as a boxer, and then a man in his 50s. There's always the fear as an actor that you're not going to honorably serve the person you're portraying. It's particularly challenging when it's a real person and their loved ones are still with us. I had to make the decision that it wasn't going to be an impression of Harry. It was about finding the man inside myself. Why does this God ask so much of us? The trade of being an actor, there are a lot of ways in. And for me, it's always the body. I needed to go as far as I physically could in order to inform the rest of Harry's life. So we started out in the camps and I had five months to prep. And that preparation resulted in losing 62 pounds for the camps, which was Harry's recorded weight. And then we took five weeks off and I put on 50 for the ring. When Harry is confronting his past, though it's his most volatile period, it was probably the easiest for me because I just got to eat pasta and drink wine. It was great. We didn't have the term PTSD then. It's been called many things, shell shock, uh, war fatigue. We took a trip to Auschwitz and it was an altering experience. And it was important for me to be able to close my eyes and see that. So I filled my house and uh, workspace with uh, pictures of the Holocaust. Uh, I need, this, this is about a man trying to get away from his past who can't. So I needed to be able to close my eyes and see those horrors. What got him through the camps was the hope of finding his love again. And I've heard countless hours of survivors' testimony in preparation. And many survivors talk about how just the memory of someone, just the hope of someone was still alive, got them through that day, got them through the next five minutes. You're living in a time of great unrest, and it's easy to become apathetic and overwhelmed. And why I think the survivor is important is that it's not about that. It's about the hope that gets you through. And I don't think we ever run out of a need for more hope. You know why I must win. All you can do is survive it.